Once the BOM is in place, balloons can be used to tie the information in the table to the parts in the assembly view. Because balloons are a type of annotation, you can use Insert Annotation Balloon from the drop-down menu, or the balloon icon from the annotations toolbar. Once the command is selected, your pointer will show a small picture of a balloon next to it. All you do now is click on the parts in the drawing and balloons will appear with the appropriate item number. If you pick a face, the leader will attach with a dot. If you pick an edge or a vertex, the leader will attach with an arrow. Once the balloons are in place, you click OK and position the balloons as you please. You can also let SOLIDWORKS create all of the balloons for you using the Auto Balloon command. I'll highlight the view to make it active and select Auto Balloon from the Insert Annotations drop-down menu or select the Auto Balloon icon. Here you can select the orientation in which the balloons will appear around the view. For this example, I'll select Top and click OK. Just as we saw a second ago, I can still position the balloons anywhere by dragging them. One important thing to point out here, if you wish to reposition all of the balloons together as one unit, you must do this before hitting the check to accept the auto balloon. Moving a balloon after completing the command will only allow you to move the single balloon and not all of them as a group anymore.